So Scott Barner is a multinational chemical company, employee owned. It's also a registered charity and gives 5% of its profits away every year to, to charity. Uh, its, main, its main areas of, of commercial activity is really in supplying composites and, and adhesives and functional polymers to a range of industries including wind turbines for wind energy generation, for transport, for um, construction um, and, um, and for things like personal care. So it's got a broad uh, end market. Uh, it has manufacturing sites in, uh, in the UK, uh, where it's headquartered near Northampton, uh, but also in northern France, in Croatia, in Dubai, in South Africa Can and Canada, and a recent acquisition in, in, in the USA. So we are truly multinational. We also have joint ventures in, in Brazil and India, and 15 sales offices around the globe. Uh, all combined with 700 um, in individuals who all have a real strong interest in the success of Scott Barter. So this is our hundredth year. So the company was formed in 1921 by Ernest Barter. In 1951, Ernest Barter, his wife Dora Scott, hence Scott Barter, and their son Godric Barter gave the company or put the company into trust for the benefit of the employees. You know, there's a significant amount of employee ownership aspects with a you know, significant amount of communication between management and everyone, but also you know, everyone has a right to a voice and there's, there's a elected body called the Members Assembly which is there to hold the group board, the operating board, to account for the decisions they make. So there is a, a really good relationship an interface between management, if you like, in the conventional sense, and everybody else who works in the company. Well, Ernest Bader was a very visionary chap, wasn't he? Quite a, quite a presence, actually. He uh, had... Um, I, th I can only think some crossbow really hit him when he did, <laughs> he did his military service. Maybe. In Maybe. the Alps. Yes. And something happened. I can only think that's where it could have happened. Yeah. It was certainly cosmic in the sense that he had the vision. Yes. He is a, was definitely a visionary. But he, he, he had values, didn't he? And he wanted to make sure that, um, you know, the, the company was going to be held for the future generations. My father has worked here all his life and is actually a life president of Scott Barder, aren't you? Now at the age of 98. And um, I am the uh, family nominated guardian trustee on the Commonwealth Board at the moment. Ernest, your father, 70 years ago um, started the company in 90, well, no, 100 years ago actually, because this is our centenary. <laughs> but 70 years ago made it a common ownership company, uh, which is um, basically the shares were held in a charitable trust. So there's no particular ownership here. We're not saying that the employees are owners of the company as such, but they are have a commonwealth within the company, and hence our word commonwealth for our... Com we have a commonwealth board uh, where we actually have guardian trustees because obviously the shares being held in a charitable trust, we have to have trustees. I've served on the commonwealth board uh, which is the overseeing eye of Scott Barder. Um, at the moment I'm on a thing called the Community Council, which is a UK-based council. Any issues with the UK, uh, my guys from my area, I represent them on the UK Council. Um, on any issues, whether it be pay, whether it be um, any, anything UK-based, so basically on, on this site that it becomes an issue or we wish to discuss or we wish to ask questions, whether it's through HR or accounting or whoever. We have about six meetings a year um, and hopefully we keep the whole of the UK site happy with the way things are run and uh, any issues that come up. So, so I think the biggest change that's occurred at Scott Bodder over that 70 years in terms of the ownership structure is really the evolution from from essentially a company that's based in the UK 
for one that's multinational and, and really internationalizing that concept of employee ownership. So today we have representation from all of our sites around the world um, coming together uh, to, to really act as a, as a multinational employee owned organization. We've talked about the history, but we're now at a point in time where we're looking forward. Yeah, what I'm hopeful about Scott Barter being employee owned, we get that investment of people. We can attract people because of our values and because people have a real voice around the direction and frankly how we put those values into practice. So for me that is, that is what I would say about the future for Scott Barter.